Hi. Let me ask you a couple of questions. Who loves the internet? Show some hands. Technology is fantastic. Who has ever played a digital game, or maybe on your iPad or something like that? And who has ever experienced virtual reality? Oh, still a couple of hands that are still there. Isn't technology amazing? Looking at technology, let's take a look at cars. So this is how a car looked like in the 50s. Some people probably love the old timer in it. And this is how a car looks like today. They can drive autonomously. They can see accidents before they even happen. And they move to cleaner energy sources when they come. I have always been fascinated by technology and by the possibilities of it. In all the years I have worked with emerging technologies, I've seen it move faster and become more affordable all the time. I love technology. I love the possibilities of it. And I love to see how we can improve our world using technology. But for me, it feels strange to see that in some areas, technology is adopted very fast. But in other areas, this does not happen at all. Take a look at this classroom. The classroom somewhere about the 50s. And this is how a classroom looks like today. It's almost identical than 50, 60 years ago. And of course, we have smart boards, and we have digital books, and we track student progress digitally, but still, it's almost the same way of teaching like decades ago. So why do we use technology to improve our cars? But why don't we fully utilize the technological capabilities to actually improve our teaching? And yes, there is a difference between cars and humans. Uh, don't misunderstand that. Cars can be programmed to be safe and smart and efficient. Humans learn by experience. This is an old wisdom. A very old wisdom. We learn by experience, by doing it ourselves, just like a child learns how to ride a bicycle. It falls off and then gets back up on the bike again for another try. But there is a drawback to learning by experience. Who has ever used a hammer and nails to build something? Show some hands. Almost everyone. Did it hurt when you hit your finger for the first time? Yes, it did. And you might still remember that event. Thinking of it and me talking about it now, you might still recall the feeling. So I guess that using a hammer and nails was an efficient learning strategy after a few Hurtful moments. But what if your working and training environment looks like this? In my daily life, I work with large companies in which complex tasks need to be trained all the time. Would you be training something like this? So, sir, you today would be the first to try in real life. Or maybe this, bump into stuff. <laughs> Learning by experience is the only effective way. But we cannot let our staff step into an explosion or bump into stuff, or experience other danger. 
when it comes to the most important tasks for which we really need to be prepared, we are forced to fall back to less effective ways of learning. We have manuals and instructions. And we have long safety procedures. But still, we cannot always practice it for real. In fact, 230,000 workers get injured every year at their workplace in the Netherlands. Actually, 80 of them die during this event. So there's no way we can teach our workers to be prepared for the worst case scenarios by letting them experience it. And me standing here, I'm actually wondering, is that so? Why don't we use technology to optimize our learning? The world out there today is full of new, innovative technology, such as virtual reality or augmented reality, which you have seen in your booklet, or maybe even mixed reality, as they call it. So it's available technology right now. In fact, this is what I do for a living. I apply techniques that come from commercial games to involve the learner. We build games, sometimes with VR, that actually let people learn by experience. And most recently, we have taken this to the max. For some people, their work environment looks like this. We are currently building a VR environment for training astronauts how to operate this device and actually how to be safe. Learning by doing, but without the risk and without the need of having a mentor or instructor or master on your site. It's cost efficient and safe using VR. And you might think, does it really work? Is it realistic enough? In various tests, it has been proven that the use of especially virtual reality can be extremely effective when it comes to learning by experience. Let's take a look at this video. So she is now standing over a ledge about 150 meters above the ground. Watch her posture. Do you dare to jump off the ledge? So we fast forwarded the video because it took her really a while before she actually took the leap. For her doing this, it's so realistic that you can see at her posture how she reacts within these glasses. And eventually she jumped. So why are we so enthusiastic about technology when it comes to the internet or playing games or me, maybe even your own car? But why are we so held back and don't trust technology when it comes to teaching and improving our learning? Even when games are more effective, cost efficient and safe. To all trainers, instructors, teachers, everyone involved in learning, I would say stop looking at what we cannot train in real life, but start using the latest innovations. Let's take training and education to the 21st century. Let's get unreal and learn by experience using VR and serious games. Thank you.